actually was a beautiful day uh, initially to the naked eye. That day drastically changed uh, very quickly um, after uh, turning on the news, uh, being home with my family, and uh, seeing um, the very place where we had worship service on national TV. Uh, my heart sunk. Um, I didn't know how to respond, what to do, what to say, um, how that may impact uh, Christian Liberty Church, how that may impact um, my city, the city that I love, the city that I rep, the city that I serve. I picked up my keys. I knew I had to go down to what is uh, famously now known as Ground Zero uh, for Baltimore, the uprising. My heart racing um, just as fast as I'm trying to drive down there. There was riot police, there was the National Guard, there was um, people from all backgrounds uh, coming with law enforcement. Uh, to help bring the city under control. Um, and uh, even though that it was a scary time, I, I'm just reminded God didn't give me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. So, you know, I, I was very um, hurt to see um, what my city was doing. And so to see the very place that we were trying to have our ministry center at, which is Mondawmin Mall, looted um, and vandalized, and protesters had some blank poster board and so we took that marker and we wrote biggest day Jesus is the answer and walked up and down the streets proclaiming that and uh, share the gospel uh, to the crowd and um, no one else or nothing else is going to solve that problem other than Christ and so we wanted to wave our bloodstained banner uh, that Jesus is the answer and sin is the problem. God had us strategically placed us there and to see um, how he had put us right in what we'll call a desert or a dry place, to see this rose uh, being sprung out of there where so many lives have now come to know Christ and so many people have been baptized and so many people have come to know Jesus and the hope that their hearts can only receive that's transformed them. I consider it a privilege. I consider it um, a blessing to know that God has placed us in a place where um, it's a place that's overlooked, it's a place that's um, misunderstood, and he's given me a privilege to represent uh, what some may not have a voice to say. I was not sent to Baltimore. Uh, um, we are Baltimore, and so my wife and I grew up about five minutes from this area, um, and so we were privileged uh, to, to come back to this area. And the reason why uh, we came back is because now it's my responsibility on how can I usher in a hope and a solution that is going to sustain them after the checks run out, after the government grants run out, after the political parties' terms are up. What can I do as a pastor and as a son of Jesus Christ be able to do for my city? There is hope and there is hope in Christ. And we are privileged uh, to be uh, laborers in the gospel here at Christian Liberty Church. Mm -hmm.